Alright guys, one second while I finish setting things up for today. One moment. Alright, didn't get the chance to check the microphone beforehand, but I, I have a pretty good idea where it's supposed to go, so let me just, uh, move you guys around over here. Let's see, actually, we'll do it live. Uh, might hear double for a second. Okay, that's probably fine. Actually, let me make sure that I... Okay. Okay, we're good. Why is Twitch telling me these things? Uh, there was an error getting the emote data. Gasp. Anyway. Uh, welcome back to another For It Only stream. Well, in battle. I mean, uh, we like I said last time, we're, we're going to have to use, go uh, like, a gold duck or something. To, just for the HMs for, like, Whirlpool or whatever. Because otherwise we wouldn't be able to beat the game. But at least in battle. Uh, For It Only. We have made it to Dragon Town. That I forget the name of. That doesn't matter, because the, the key thing about it is that dragons be here. And so are we. And... We'll see who can last the longest in, in battle. Actually, how close is Fruit Lax to getting to 38? Uh, they're still a good uh, six levels away. Her team healed up. Yes, they are. Should we just go for it? Should we just start, literally start the stream off with the dragon gem? We've got only one badge left. We beat, we beat the rocket hideout in the last one. We we took back the radio tower. Uh, what do we got going on here? Yeah, we got eight. The 8th badge is the only one left to get. I don't think we really checked this far into the into the city and like talked to the NPCs and stuff, but... Deep inside, far off Indigo Plateau is the Pokemon League. Is it just the only Pokemon League? It's like all the other like Elite Four and Champions report to Kanto. Darn it, Todd. This just works. Route 34. The party's moved. Everything was on Route 35. Just had to teach my Pokémon, so I got the move deleter to make it forget an HM move. Right. Important that we remember that we can do that. This guy got anything special for us? Hyper potions, max potions, etc., etc. Uh. 
eliminate his superior healing technology. And this is the move deleter? Okay. Trying to plan ahead here. Got the ice path, we got the dragon's den. Silver cave. I guess we check out the gym. That seems like the thing to do. You're going to make your Pokemon forget some moves? Uh... Not right now. Where do you get Miracle Berry? I haven't seen one of those yet. Where... is the gym? Is your name- is your name Jim? Oh. Maybe you don't want to talk to him. Crazy guy. Blackthorn City. Quiet Mountain Retreat. There's a gym around here somewhere. Wait, this goes to a path. You fight? Dragon user like, oh yeah, that's right, Claire, not Lance. Blessed user of dragon Pokemon. I guess we should try and fight the first, like, trainer in the gym. Just to see how, how it goes. What kind of challenge we're gonna have in terms of, uh... Using ferrets and dragons. Claire uses the mythical and sacred dragon type. I use the mythical and sacred ferret type. Alright, ice, ice is what we want here. So I guess we, we'll switch to ferret carp. Alright, scaly boy, let's see what you got. Cool Trainer Paul. Okay. Dratini. Linguini. Thirty-four. That's not that bad. We do decent enough damage. Thunderwave, that's kind of obnoxious. Anyway, punch. That's objectively the wrong choice. How much does Dragon Rage do? A good chunk of damage, but not that much. Okay, so what happens if we bring in the Ferret Carp? They're only 25, though. That's kind of an issue. Of course, the one Pokemon that has the super effective move is the one that has uh, the lowest level. Of course. Hi, Sponge. Pretty good. Pretty good. Maybe we don't need to rely on being super effective. I think one more Ice Punch, as long as this gets through, uh, actually, uh, if we survive Dragon Rage. Yeah, just barely. Ice Punch. Dratini down. Critical hit. That's one of three. Whoosh. Yeah, we're gonna have to change Pokemon. Actually, isn't- aren't they like part, like, water type or something? They're blue. Blue usually means water. If only there were fairy types. Okay, that's not very effective. 
So, uh, no, doesn't appear that they are water type. Just because they're yellow. Or just because they're blue. It's just electric type in my brain. We got the slam, though. Come on and slam. Dratini is... Uh... Something that rhymes. Will we switch? Yeah, let's let's for it shrew it up. I wanna see how, how dig works. If electric's not very effective. Then maybe Actually let's let's try Iron Tail first, because that'll drop their attack or drop their defense, rather. Oh. I see. Maybe it can attack. Yeah, these dragon types don't seem nearly as uh, challenging as the Magnemites were back in the Steel Gym. I don't know what other types they're gonna have in addition to dragon. That's kind of the, the curveball they can throw at us here, still. But yeah, I think we could probably just go for this, right? Disappointed. You've met Lance, the Dragon Master? That just can't be true. No one could ever possibly have met him before. It's an impossibility. He's a myth. A legend, even. That's like saying you met Santa Claus. Someone has to meet him. Pokemon are fully healed. Hope you see you again. A little bit unwieldy with the wor words today. Let's go... Let's go smack some dragons. That's a lot of magma. Can I use Surf here? <laughs> I don't know why not. It's just, it's just water but spicier. It's a sea of hot sauce. It's just the the dragons like like it spicy, so they just keep a whole moat full of hot sauce for them. So what happens if I just uh... okay? kind of funny if that just led straight into, like, the lava. Okay, we gotta use strength here, but Ferret is very strong. Actually... Yeah, 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 yeah. Easy. Just do that, and that. Hidden item? No. That looks like a pretty good hidden item spot to me, though. Missed opportunity. It's not as if we all use Dragon-type Pokémon. That are stronger than Dragon Pokémon. Fairy-types? This guy's living in the future. Cool Trainer Cody. Horsey. That's not a... that's not a... Oh, he had us fooled there for a second there, Cody, but... Nah, he's he's not living in the future. Punch it. And we missed. Seahorse with the laser eyes. Missed again, of course. Classic. Oh no, not the multiple droplets of water. 
my weakness. Come on, hit five. Three, at least four. That's pretty good. You gotta admit, that's pretty good. Big damage. They're kind of like a dragon. They're like a small blue dragon with fins. Not the droplets they burn. Okay, quick attack. Not fooling around. Nice. 33. We need to get them to 38, because that's when they learn rest through level up. Sea draw. <laughs> That's kind of a funny sprite for Cedra. I have to say, I, th I think this is a little bit of a downgrade from Gen 1. What is that weird, like, blue orb that he's, like, sitting on? It's, like, part of him, but it it's, it's weird. It's, like, a separate thing. Uh, Thunder Punch. Nice tall glass of thunder punch. Have another. Brachu, level 36. So basically, uh, that's him down. You are special. Really? I did this wrong. I'm dumb. Oh, you gotta use the rocks to to build the bridge to Claire. Okay, I see. Walk him in. Holder fell through. Can we go across now? Not quite. What shall I do? What shall I do? I'm gonna heal just in case they've got super crazy all six Dragonites or something. They probably don't. They probably just have more Dratinis. Actually, what even Dragon types do we have other than like the Dratini line? I mean... There's not, there's not that many dragons. They're quite rare. Quite hard to get a hold of. So... They're probably gonna use, like, quite a few different types in conjunction with the dragons. Just to be a little bit more varied. Oh, that stayed. That stayed put where we left it. In the lava. In the hot sauce. What you got? We go through rigorous training under Claire. Can't afford to lose. Well, you better redo your budget, because, uh. I don't see many other options. Cool trainer Fran. France? Another Cedra. These aren't dragons. What are you doing? Uh, Fury swipes. So I want to get the Ferret Lax up. If I can get them to 38. Ooh, they've actually got a little bit more, like, like better stats. I guess these are because it's, it's like upper 30s instead of lower 30s. Basically, for it lacks accuracy fell. Oh no. Dynamic punch. Whoosh. Now you're confused. Enjoy your floating chickens. Is 
smoke screen. He's trying to escape. Accuracy fell. Uh, quick attack. Cedar confused? Hurt yourself in confusion? Yep. He took himself out. Does that mean he gets the experience? No. It'd be funny if it worked that way. So disgusted. Uh, yeah, you should be, cause, uh... You're, uh, you're in the la last gym and you only had, like, two Pokémon. Come on. What are you doing? Okay, so where are all, all the other trainers at? Puzzles. Very puzzling. Uh... I don't want to fall into the... the holes, because I'm like, oh, that's gonna take me right into the hot sauce. Okay, we're building some bridges here. My chance of losing? Not even 1%. He did the math, but boy is he bad at math. Cool trainer Mike, with his single Pokemon. Dragonair. Thank you for flying Dragonair. You know, uh... Put your trays up into the locked position as we prepare to, uh... Crash land. Bit of a thunder wave. We're immune. We're faster than lightning. Yeah, he. I don't know how he. I, he should show his work because uh, I feel like he's made a few mistakes in his calculations of. Winning. That's odd. Huh. What do you mean my one Pokemon didn't beat your six? Yeah, just, just get more Pokemon. What are you doing? There's no reason they shouldn't all have six Pokemon. I'm actually really excited, because I'm probably going to play, like, uh... When I'm done with this game, I'll probably move on to Pokemon Kaizo, if I stay on Pokemon. Which, it seems like you guys like Pokemon stuff, so I'll probably keep going with that, but... Uh, yeah, I really like the thought of doing, like, Pokemon, like, like, Emerald Kaizo. Because... They actually have, like... You know, like the, like, the Elite Four actually has, like, a like a full team of, like, level 100s and stuff, apparently. And stuff like that, where it's like, oh, they're actually doing things the way you would expect them to. Like, if, if it was actually, like, by, like, another player or something. Actually, use like competitive strategies. That seems really interesting to me. All right, bring it on. Dragons are sacred Pokemon. Full of life energy. If you're not serious, you won't be able to beat them. We'll see about that. Oh, believe me, I'm serious. Look at all my ferrets. Tell me I'm not serious. Another linguini. Fret Ponch. Was that a crit? That wasn't even a crit. What the heck? Fret's the real Dragon Slayer. 
Forget fairy types. And quick attack. Easy. Alright, which other dragon you got for us? Dragon Air. We don't need to switch. You just need a single for it. Dynamic Punch. Oh, I miss. Thunder Wave? That's, ob no that's obnoxious. It's, like, not the worst one, though. I mean, you can still attack through that. Like, sleep's worse than paralyze. Okay, now we have to switch. Well, at least they were out, so they get a little bit of experience. Use classic for it. Turn. How's that work? Uh, pretty well, I would say. Defeat the dragons through the power of friendship. Please don't crit. There is the crit. Oh, they made it to 34. Awesome. Only four more levels and they get rest. Then we give them sleep talk. Then he can be like punching people in his sleep. Yeah, dragon's weak to dragon, but for it doesn't learn dragons. Dragon type nonsense. Unfortunately. They're kind of- they're kind of like a dragon type. I mean, if Gyarados can be dragon type. For it's basically just, uh, normal type Gyarados. When you really think about it. Kinda... Kinda squint a little bit. Looking at them side by side. healed. Okay, and that just leaves clear. This is exciting. Let's see what we can't do about clear. Alright, bring it on. World's best Dragon Master. Uh, have you seen Lance? Hold my own against even the Pokemon League's Elite Four. Wow. So can I. Do you still want to take me on? Fine, let's do it. As a trainer, I will use my full power against any opponent. Alright, if you don't have six Pokemon, you're a joke. Uh, <laughs> four. To be fair, that's more than previous ones. No match for Furret, though, surely. And we missed Dynamic Punch, of course. Sir, Furret can swim. That's not an issue. No, he got a little bit. Wait, 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 wait. That, that, that was a crit. Dang it. One more attempt with the dynamic punch. Yes. That was a risk. That was a risky play. But it was so worth it. Hit yourself. Or Thunder Wave, that doesn't do any damage. I'm gonna switch anyway because they're in the yellow now. But yeah, they're 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 confused. They're all 
Like, if they get confused, do they accidentally, like, like trying to navigate their way around, tie themselves up like a, like a pretzel? Uh, for a true can tank this. Confused? Come on. Yes. Will that take him out? Close. Dig. Dig a hole, dig a hole, dig a hole. Dodged. Critical. Critical dig. Alright, bring out your next dragon. Dragon air. No need to switch. Are steel types effective against the dragons? Moderately. What about Shadow Ball? How do you like ghost types? Not the Thunderbolts. Oh. Oh no, that's that's a critical. They're getting really lucky with these critical hits. Claire's a cheater. Dig. Dig! Why didn't you dig? For it, no. Darn it. Well. That's how you're gonna play this. Have a nice glass of ice punch. E, that's not good. Quick attack. Please be enough. Yes, okay. That's half the dragons down. Claire's about to use Dragon Air. Yes, we will switch to, uh, Fretzard. And I'm gonna revive the Fur True, I think. Thirteen revives. We are absolutely set up here. Ice Beam. That's not very nice, Beam. Uh, what can I use against you? I don't think that works very well. Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna go ahead and switch. I just wanted them to take the hit. Go forth for it. Smite our enemies. I was, like, afraid they were going to get another crit there for a second. Return. Oh, that's greater than half health. There's seven levels above us. We still did over half health. That's such a good move. I don't know if that's just the same type attack bonus or what, but... Man, that gets... that that does the damage. Imagine if we were, like, the same level as them. They'd probably one-shot them. Kingdra, yes. I have just the answer for you, Kingdra. Why would you use a water type? There's so many ways I can deal with that. Level 40 versus our level 36. Okay, they're really tanky, though. So we do need to be a little bit careful, at least. Yeah, I guess we spam Thunder Punch, hope for Paralyze, but either way. Or we could get a critical hit. That'd be pretty good. Oh. That's not good. I'm 
tempted to use Slam. Yeah, there's only a 1 in 10 chance that we get the paralysis. I'm gonna go for the Slam. Please don't miss. Oh, I missed. That's the worst possible outcome. I took a calculated risk. And, well, sometimes it doesn't work out. That's fine. We still have the rest of our team, and we still have, like, 12 revives or something. So I guess next up would be... For a true... First things first. Gonna use a little hyper potion on him. Just to make sure we survive. I should have used dig actually. But this is fine. Oh, why are you gonna crit? Oh, that's not even a crit. Okay, that's just not good. Uh. Is it better to reduce the defense or the special defense here? What am I going to pivot into? Probably get Ferechu up and running again. So probably Shadow Ball. That didn't actually work. Why didn't it reduce their special defense? I guess there's only a chance that it does that? Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Try and get the damage in with the Ice Punch. Oh, uh, but they outspeed. Please survive. One, sir. Please note. Because <sighs> they got this big level advantage, which is really obnoxious. Okay, regular for it. We're going to bring out the revives. This is going to be a little bit of a use items to power through kind of kind of thing. We still we still have a good chance to win. I just got to be good about managing uh, healing our team up. Yeah, for a chew. Let's bring him out. Hit him with a... Lemonade, probably? Yeah, we don't need a max potion. So now we're full health. We'll, we'll take that. It's our highest level for it. As long as that doesn't, like, crit or something stupid. Go for the slam and don't miss this time. That could be big. Okay, they're down in the yellow. That's a that's good chunk of damage. Okay. We're still in it. Probably sacrifice the Ferret Zard. So I can then proceed to go in and revive. Ferret Chew again. I have to use Ferret Chew because they're just the highest level. It doesn't make sense not to. I'm just gonna have to be good with these, uh, with these revives. Bring out the virtue. They're gonna they're gonna knock us out in one turn. Revive for a true, so we can use dig. Hyper potion, okay. Going for, they're, they're wasting their potion. The fact that they had that means that they're going to use it at some point. Uh, go for the Thunder Punch. Hopefully we'll land the Para. Okay. 
that'll probably knock us out. Let's... We're just gonna be burning through revives effectively. We need some way to break through. It's too risky. Max potion for a true. Hope they go for like a status move. They've also got to run out of surf eventually. Please no crit, please no crit, please no crit. It went over half health, though. Shadow Ball, try and get the special defense down. Come on. Critical Shadow Ball. Special defense fell. That could be big. Thunder Punch is electric, and that means in this generation it's special. Okay. Yeah, I gotta get the revives going again. Revive, revive, revive. This is not looking good. Not gonna lie. for it to again revive regular for it then and then try and go into like a, another return I don't know how accurate surf is if it can miss revive regular for it Come on, do something other than Surf. That's all they do is spam Surf. I'm gonna be real, real annoyed if I if I lose from just running out of revives. Yeah, we we have to revive because if we don't, we're just gonna lose if if they hit us again. Surfing again. That's all they know. They only know surf. And back to Furachu. X potion. So we can take one hit. Anything but surf. Hyper Beam. Okay, how much does that do? Oh, we can take another one of those. They might be out of surf. I think we have to revive a Pokemon. If I try and go for something offensive, they're gonna take us out this turn. Vertlax, go for the Confuse Punch. Kingdra must recharge. Yeah, I forgot. Okay. Max Potion for Vertlax. Go for the Confusion Punch strategy. I should have been going for this whole time, probably. Yeah, they're they're out of Surf. Don't don't crit. Okay. Uh, I think we're out of Hyper Potions, or Max Potions, but we can still get a lot of HP back. Must recharge. Thunder Punch, now that their special defense is down from the Shadow Ball earlier. And we hit the Para. So big. Slam! Come on. We've earned this. Will we paralyze? Let's go! And first try, we beat the Dragon-type gym. 
only for its... Take that, Claire. You're not Lance. I lost. I don't believe it. There must be some mistake. You're the mistake, Claire. Give me my badge. I won't admit this. I may have lost, but you're still not ready for the Pokemon League. I know, you should take the Dragon User Challenge. How about you give me my, my badge? Behind this gym is a place called Dragon's Den. Go and bring me the Dragon Fang. From deep inside the den. Get, as soon as you give me my badge, that is the test to be accepted as a true Dragon User. If you can do that... I don't use dragons, I use something better. It's called Furret. Look it up sometime. I will accept you as a worthy trainer. Until then I won't give you a badge. That's illegal. Okay, fine. We'll go punch some more dragons in the cave. He's only d delaying the inevitable. Also, we really need to go to a Pokemon Center. <laughs> that wasn't as bad as the Steel-type gym, though. I mean, that's what you'd expect. If you just introduce a new type to the game, you're gonna want to make it look good. And since Steel is new this generation, it makes sense that Steel is really strong. Also, let's buy like a dozen more. Uh, revives. Y'all got any of them revives? Like another five of them. Seems like a lot of money for potions, but okay. Like at least ten. They do kind of carry us a little bit. So it's, okay, that's ten hyper potions and at least how many revives? Ten. Okay, ten of each. As quite agreeable. I think this is where we actually need the whirlpool. I'm gonna go as far as I can for it only, and then if we hit a roadblock, I'll come back to get the, uh, HM duck. For specifically HM purposes only. No battle. Is this guy gonna fight us? Does he literally just live here on this little tiny stretch of land in front of the cave entrance and just... just stay there all day? Oh. I thought he was gonna fight us. Like, he's like the cave guardian. Since Claire, the Dragon Master, has allowed it, you may enter. Oh, was he blocking our path before? Whoa. What kind of... car horn music is this? Uh, go left? No. We could probably surf here. Go right, because this is another little tiny path. Ooh, hidden item. There's a surprise inside. Ooh, free revive. Definitely be using that. Are, they, are there any wild Pokemon here? Out in the water there are. Magic Corp. That has to be the name of a of, of a company in Pokemon. Magic Corp. Oh, 
Oh, is this where we need the Whirlpool? Is this impassable to non-Whirlpool users? Let me through. Making the fret dizzy. It's all Magikarps, all the way down. They're not known to be aggressive. Okay, we already went that way, that's where the secret stuff was. Another Magikarp. Very large fish. What is this? Dragon Shrine. Honoring the dragon Pokemon said to have lived in Dragon's Den. How do I... How do I go into it? There's no... There's no door. There's no door here. Have for it use Dig so he can make a door. Uh, I guess... We, wait, hold on. Secret items? This is worth a try? How do I deal with you? Okay. Yeah. There's no way around it. We gotta go get the gold duck. Push the fish to the side. It's all Magikarps living here. More Magikarps in this generation there is in Kanto. Alright. I'm sure Ferret's gonna enjoy this. Not being the HM Pokemon, but instead, uh, the one that isn't for it is the HM Pokemon. Who do we deposit? Probably for it, Zard. Because so I don't think fire type coverage is particularly important here. They're pretty low level, too. Got Ferret? That's so funny that it had like the question mark, exclamation, the interrobang as it's called. You have the question mark, exclamation point. Why am I in my items? Okay, let's investigate. This quote unquote for it. It's very blue for a for it. Okay, it needs to learn waterfall. It's throwing me off the question mark. Why'd I do this to myself? Which move shall it forget? Uh, let's get rid of all the useful moves so I'm not tempted to use it ever. Starting with confusion. And then Whirlpool. It learns Flash, too, if we needed a Pokemon with Flash. I think. Yeah, let's just teach it literally just... Just Water-type. 
just just HM moves. Whirlpool. Flash. Adobe Flash. Where it's gonna make some cartoons in the 2000s. I should have kept Tail Whip, because that's like the least useful move. What else do you got? Nothing. Okay. So they're just there as the obligatory HM user. Will not be used in combat. If it if it comes down to it and we have and they're the only one left, then we just automatically lose. So naturally I want to get through here as fast as possible. Challenger. Magic Carp. Let's just make sure that they're at the very end of our party, too. Yeah. Just wanted to be sure about that. Okay, that gets sort of the whirlpool. Is it back here somewhere? The back side of the dragon shrine. I think you need Whirlpool to get into the, uh... Whatchamacallit, the Pokemon League here. That's what I seem to remember reading online when I was looking up if, if we needed any other moves. Anything out here? I don't know if items can appear out in the water, but I mean, probably. They do in other games. This is promising. This is about as far as we can go. Dragon Fang. That's exactly what we need. Who are you? Claire? Were you watching me this whole time? Alright, I recognize your true power. This badge is yours. I just wanted to make sure that we have Whirlpool. <laughs> like, what's up with that? To use the move for climbing waterfalls. All Pokemon will recognize you as a trainer and obey your every command without question. That's kind of sketchy. I also want you to have this TM. TM24. Which one is that? Dragon Breath. Doesn't have anything to do with... Who asked? If you don't want it, you don't have to take it. Collected all the badges? Yes, we did. The destination is the Pokemon League and Indigo Plateau. Wait, we gotta go back to Indigo? <laughs> go to New Bark Town. Surf East. I totally forgot that's a thing. You have to go to the... I guess that was their original plan. Was they're gonna have it so whatever generation you're in, you have to go back to Indigo. <laughs> oh, why is the Whirlpool back? I bet Claire did this. Okay, they just wanted to make sure that we have Whirlpool, I guess. 
Stratini. That's almost a ferret, but not close enough. He just needs to become more powerful. He'll lose his attachment to the uh, dragon typing. Realize that that which he thinks makes him more powerful is actually just holding him back and embrace normal type. Ring ring, Professor Elm. Hello, Arctic. I have something here for you. Could you swing by my lab? Sure, I wasn't doing anything. Surf. Who could be challenging me at this time? Ah, it's none other than Magikarp. We meet again. Level 7. That means they're extra lucky. Okay, and we remove the Golduck. Unless we absolutely know that we need to have Whirlpool, I'm not keeping the Golduck in our party. Or, or Waterfall. Stored for it. So sorry, you had to wait in the box for it, Zard. We su successfully navigated that dangerous situation without ever having the gold deck out in battle. How are we doing in terms of like, HP and such? We're good. Okay. Bertlax still out in the front. Great. So, with that, where the heck are we going now? Map. Ice path. Lake of Rage. Oh, that's going backwards. Okay. Dragon's Den, Route 45, Shortcut. Silver Cave? New Bark Town. Wait. Where is Johto in relation to Kanto? Is it really just take the road to the to the east and just keep going and voila, you're in Kanto. I never realized. I guess that makes sense. This does look like the part of Japan that's like west of uh, the part with uh, Tokyo in it. So, fair play. Now where is our shortcut path? I think this is one way, so we gotta be careful here. Make sure there's nothing else this way that we're interested in. Who lives here? There's a blue snake in your house. Watch out. those sprites. The really derpy overworld Pokemon sprite. Okay. Route 45. Mountain road ahead. Wait, what's in here? Darkness. No thank you. Oh, we've got a choice to make. Okay, maybe go this way because it's not a one way. Smart. We got an item. Just have to 
sneak past this graveler here. Sneaky graveler. Got an elixir. Okay, more decisions. Bald guy there. Gligar? Oh yeah, that's right, he's from this generation. Gligar. Ah, uh, do we go this way? Or do we go this way? I'm gonna go down the middle one, because I feel like if, if he's gonna fight us, then that means there's probably treasure here. Be prepared for anything? Let me see if your Pokemon have been raised properly. I just destroyed a whole team of dragons. I don't think you want to do that, Eric. Machop. Let's see what we got here. Oh wait, 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 hold up. We got fighting types. Spear swipes? Oh. We're probably good. Yeah, we're super good. That's what I think of your fighting types. About to use much hop. Oh no. Is it cut above the rest? Red relax. Three swipes again. <laughs> Please do more than two. We got this. Oh, we really got this. That that didn't do nearly as much as I thought it would. I thought that was gonna basically one shot us. We're still in the green. Got them level advantages. Graveler? Nah, we don't need a change. Don't fix that which isn't broken. Dynamic Punch. Whoosh. What Graveler? Oh, I lost that. Uh, you can say that again. I'll head back to Blackthorn's icy path and train some more. Yeah, go, go do that. Oh, there's another trainer here. Ah, uh, that means we have got to go all the way back to the to the top if we want to fight them. There's no way to do that. Okay. Doesn't look like that. There's any way around that. That's a neat Teddy Ursa sprite. That looks like one of those Pokemon that stays pretty much looking the same every every generation they're in. They don't vary too crazy in amount. Like Golbat does. Out of here. Alright, then we fight this person probably. What is your battle strategy? In a word? For it. It's foolish to use strong moves indiscriminately. What? I think you got it all wrong, Kelly. Maril. Uh, Fury swipes the Maril. Bubble Beam. That's pretty scary stuff right there. Critical, no less. 
If we play our cards right, we might just barely be able to survive this encounter. Got two more. War Twirtle. Nah, bring it on. The Twirtle of War. So I guess Fury Swipes is to fur it as Slash is to Sand Slash. Withdraw. <laughs> I like the animation for Withdraw in this game. It's just like. They like kinda hunker down and put on a put on a metal hat. Shield on head type move. Water gun. How are you missing? That's that's fine actually. Just go ahead and get those out of the way. Statistically, you're gonna miss some of the time, but if you miss a whole bunch, then that means your odds of missing again are smaller now. Because you, you already did, like, if something has a one in a million chance of happening, and then it happens, you know you've probably got, like, another million more to go before it happens again. On average. So it's actually good on fights that aren't that important to get those, uh, bad rolls out of the way. Statistically speaking. Will we change Pokemon? No. We will heal, though. So I want to- I really want to give them a lot of experience so they can get rest. Have a- have a lemonade for it. Withdraw. The word draw is in there. That means uh, he forfeits. We win by default. Or something like that. Dynamic punch. Let's take a risk. Okay, good. Get those out of the way when, it, when it's not important. We can fight War Turtle in our sleep. Not half bad. Maybe another three? No. Miss. This is fine. One more. And he's down. Hoping for a little bit more experience than that, but that's that's okay. Fine, I lost. Not in favor of overly powerful moves. I want to win, but I also don't want to harm Pokemon. Fair, actually. It is kind of messed up when you think about it. I mean... I guess the idea is that the Pokemon want to fight, so it's okay, because they're okay with it. Because, like, oh, Pokemon have, like, the same intelligence as people. Because, I mean, just an ordinary Meowth could learn to speak, like, the Team Rocket Meowth. So, even ordinary Pokemon like Meowth can apparently have human-level intelligence. So, if they're okay with fighting, and they have the capacity to understand the consequences of their actions, and it's actually no different ethically than, like, wrestling or something like that. Why do I climb mountains? Because they're there. Why do I train Pokemon? Because they're there. Man, I wish mountains were real.
Do a little Fury Swipes. Whoosh! That's... that's quite a... quite a hit there. That wasn't even a crit. That was insane. We don't need to change Pokemon. Three times the action. Three times the suspense. Three times the damage. Best thing to ever happen to me was discovering Pokemon. A little bit of a double-edged sword, isn't it? On one hand, you get to experience Pokemon. At the other, on the other hand, you're left wanting Pokemon to be real your entire life, and you know they're they're not going to be. This is so sad. Tree? Mystery berry. Mystery flavor. What does mystery flavor do? Alright. Ah. Power points. Wonder what's in that water. The world may never know. Okay, there's another cave here. Can I see in this cave? No? Then miss me with that. Hoopering tree. Perskerberry. What about you? Ordinary berry, but the pack is full. Uh. What do I get rid of? Iceberry, X Tech, da 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 da. Hyper Potion? Dragon Fang? Wait, we can keep the Dragon Fang? It's useless. Should probably store it next time we go somewhere, but I don't want to just toss it, though. Let's get the Quick Claw to someone. First Strike Ratio. First Strike Ratio? What's First Strike Ratio? Weird. Uh, who doesn't have a thing yet? Brutzard? Yeah, you can have this. Choices. Oh, I accidentally made a choice. I'm raising Pokemon too while you battled me. Uh, let me think about that for a second. After, after much consideration, I have decided to battle you, Camper Ted. Mankey, of course. Fierce Wipes, high roll please. Oh, never mind. <laughs> They'd be like... Thank you for attending my TED Talk. If their name is Ted, does that mean that every talk they do is a TED Talk? Yoink. Dire hit. Wait, how do I put that in the item pocket if I was out of space? You lied to me, game. Oh, I forgot to pick up the berry because I'm stupid. Yep. Oh well, it's just a berry. Oh, it's battle. If you insist. Picnicker Aaron. With your ponita. Oh, we're out of fury swipes. Punch it. 
You wouldn't punch a horse. 36. Two levels away from getting rest. What do we do about you? Bring it on. There's no way that we're gonna be able to hit the punch twice in a row, right? See, I said that on purpose so the game would fall for it. I'm in the code. Ferret's weaseling his way around in the, in the source code of the game. Wanna give me your phone number? Yes. Oh, so sad. I can't actually put your number in there. I knew I wasn't gonna be able to store a number, I just didn't want her to feel bad. Like, oh man, I would, but the phone only holds ten numbers. <laughs> that's what a, that's what you should say. If you go to like work at like a job and your your boss asks you if they can have your phone number and be like, Oh, I would give you my phone number, but it only holds like ten of them, so It is what it is, you know? Why are these geoduds attacking me? What did I do to you? Rock with no pupils? You traded pupils for arms. Fair trade. How does Geodude, like... How does they- how do they actually work? I wonder. How, how does one beat a sentient flying rock with arms? The only thing I could think of is, like, magic. Like some sort of... stone golem type magic. Where the heck are we? Almost there, that's where we are at. I oh, know we're back in the, the Centret zone. There's a little bit of a throwback. We gotta get through here. Otherwise the ferrets are gonna get sentimental. Do we have a Pokemon Center in our small starter town? Ooh, I think this is where we go. Surely Professor Oak or Professor Elm will be like You can you can heal before you fight your rival that's probably here. Oh, he actually is, okay. I was totally expecting this to turn into a, a surprise, your rival's here. You gotta fight them before you can get to the healing station. Alright, Prof, what you got for us? Research is going great, take this as a token of my appreciation. Received the Master Ball- wait, he just gives you the Master Ball? Okay. Ultimate ball, it'll catch any Pokemon. Even for it. It's given only to recognized Pokemon researchers. Make better use of it than I can. I can think of... Oh. Uh, get yeah, the the egg's doing fine. Uh, yeah, uh... Let me, let me go check on that for you. Actually, what's this? The other Sentret that wasn't taken at the start of the game. So what, I guess we go through the ocean over... 
Give her that away. That's kind of an intimidating. It's like all of Kanto is just ju just over to the side. Is that what this is? Can't go through there. Hopefully we won't encounter any whirlpools. Oh, uh, Tentacool, what are you doing here? No one likes you, Tentacool. You're just a big annoying jellyfish. You're just the Zubat of the sea. Oh. Hey, do you know what you just did? You've taken your first step into Kanto. Oh. Wait, what? I thought they said this was like a big challenge or something. Check your Poke Gear and see. Oh. Well, how about that? I don't even remember this part of the game, if I'm gonna be completely honest. I think I may have beat Pokemon Gold like once, like probably closer to two decades ago. So I don't even remember that you just you just straight up go to Kanto. In order to even beat the game. I thought this was like a secret thing afterwards. That's all you can do. There's Pallet Town over there. Lavender Town. Saffron City there in the middle with their department store. Celadon. Pewter. That's so crazy. I, I can see why people wish that people, like, like, Pokemon would do this in future games. Have, like, the other regions. They make it seem so easy to go from Johto to Kanto. Like, between Kanto and Johto. So weird. It's like, where's Hoenn? Water's calm, want to surf? Let's go swimming for it. That's weird though. You think sometimes a furret might navigate into Kanto. I mean there's only three years difference between blue, red, and yellow in this game. So it's not like, you know, furrets just spontaneously start existing after three years. Oh, we gotta use Waterfall. Well, let's go retrieve some ducks. Let's go get our, all of our ducks in a row. Unless we can go past this way. A little bit of a jellyfish moment. Is this a secret path, or is this just a uh, alternate route? Man, Tentacle, don't you have anything better to do? Just like fly at people trying to swim. Oh. Hello. Rare candy? Can't carry any more items? Uh -huh. Yep, that's how you know you're really back in Kanto again. You start running out of inventory space. Uh, I guess we could use the PowerPoint up. I kinda wanna wait for it to use that on rest, though. Maybe I can give, like, the Dragon Fang or... No, do we have any berries I can give someone? Yeah, Poison Cure Berry. Not use. But give it to... Furtlax. Snorlax has, a, has an ability that makes him immune to poison, so that's kind of thematic. Then we'll immediately use the Rare Candy on him, too. 
I hope that preserves, like, your experience gains. It doesn't, like, reset your experience bar. Fur it lacks. They are now the most powerful fur on our team. They're only one level away from getting rest. My Voltorb's really energetic, it's a handful. You know, that actually makes sense to say that Voltorb's energetic. Okay, well, that's the end of this little secret passage here. Let's go back and get our waterfall swimming gold duck. Again, I think it's for it Zard who gets who gets the box. Please stop attacking jellyfish. I wonder if that's actually a problem with Jap in Japan, like actual Japan, if they have like a jellyfish problem. Kinda like Australia does. They share the same ocean. I don't know if box jellies go that far up north. It could be like based on a true story. Where's your computer at, Professor? Uh, this isn't the PC we're looking for, but I'll take that. Just in case. That's so weird he doesn't have access to a normal PC. What's on the TV? Stars dot the sky as two boys ride on a train. They really like movies about trains here. Pokemon trains. For it kind of is a train. Oh yeah, we do want to deposit items. Uh, what are we gonna get rid of? Ice berry, probably, maybe? Yeah, let's just get rid of the ice berries. They're useless. Dire hit. Hmm. Dragon Fang, that's... We, I don't think we get a single dragon type move. Moonstone? What's Furret going to do with the Moonstone? Eh, that's probably fine. I wonder if we could, if, if you can use Roll Out with Sleep Talk. Just like rolling around in his sleep. What am I doing? I'm supposed to deposit the Pokemon and then get the duck out so we can make it up the waterfall. Oh, but this is just items only. Must be like a Mac or something. Uh, so I guess we gotta go to the other town. <laughs> just to switch our team around. That's funny. I wonder how much of a pain the Elite Four is going to be. I mean, we took on the Dragon types and Steel types without too much issues. So... I'm still, like, afraid of Lorelei. Kills PC. Storm. the, uh, Ferret Zard in here. Do a little withdrawing. Got Ferret? I love that. 
Alright, we'll have this duck be our guide. He's from Kanto. He probably knows the way around. That's how I'm gonna think of it. It's just like the the gold duck is a native Kanto resident. Originally. He's gonna be our tour guide. Jellyfish Fields moment. Uh, of course, another one has to jump out at us. Dramatic music change. I'm glad we don't have to use Flash. Alright, surf. Alright, duck. This is your moment. Perret, use waterfall. Whoa. He's a powerful swimmer. Slowpoke. Maybe do a little fury swipes here. I want to get him that. Oh, it did reset our experience. That was dumb of me. This is why I don't usually use rare candies. They don't give you as good a uh, stat gains. And it resets your experience bar. Quick attack. I hear a slow poke. I guess we swim down here. Made it. Who are you? It's rare to see you when come here. Are you training on your own? Is this like a like the secret side path to get to the Mew truck? It's a Bulbasaur, but strangely lime green. But why? Some pretty good damage, though, you gotta admit. Look at that. Kantoians not ready for the superior Johto technology. Ivysaur. Oh, this is the perfect situation for Ferretzard. Unfortunately, we have a duck instead. Oh. The plant turned pink. Okay. Well, that's gonna crit. It's kind of a fun noise, though. Now punch the plant. Enjoy being confused, smelly plant. Doing a confusion and such. Come on. Big rolls. Oh. Yeah, take yourself out. Do it. Oh. Of course it gets the razor leaves out. Fury swipes. We'll take it out now. We outspeed. Wow, that, that was a close one. Oh wait, we've, they've still got another one. Yeah, we'll have to switch here. Let's go for Ordinary Furret. Actually, I could have brought out the Furret Carp and used the Ice Punch. And I want to get Furret more friendship. I don't know how you can check that.
that noise. Da -da 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 -da. Sound of a million leaves hitting. For it. Level 31. Checking out pre and post evolution Pokemon. Really does make Pokemon stronger. Evolve for himself to learn moves later on. Really? Who lives here? Where are you off to with Pokemon? Pokemon League? Pokemon loyal enough for you to win? I would say so. Trust you very much. Nice to see a good trainer here, a gift for your journey. Team 37? Why does that sound familiar to me? Sandstorm? What's the name of the song? For advanced trainers only. Use it if you dare. Sadly, no sand shrews are available. Wait. Okay. Where is this gonna put us? Victory Road? Just straight up? Yeah, we'll keep the Furtlax out front, and then we'll switch them first turn. Are we gonna beat the game this stream? I could have swore that there was like a separate Elite Four slash champion for this generation. Yeah, let's break out that Furret True. Magneton's like one of the scariest Pokemon we can go up against because of the steel typing. And Thunderbolt's one of the scariest moves. Dig. Hide in the ground where it's safe. Come on, big damage, big damage, big damage. Oko, Oko, Oko. He's in the red at least. And we're out. Darn it. Uh, so... Burt Carp. Let you have a little experience here. Look at that. That did nothing. I didn't hear your screeching. Ice Punch. Oh yeah, that works the other way. Whoopsie. Quagsire? Yeah, we'll switch it over to Ferretchu for a Quagsire. Look at him. Got a face like a like a Ditto clone. I don't trust him. Doesn't affect Quags Oh yeah, because he's part brown type. Special defense went way up. Okay, slam him then. Missed. I'm afraid. Okay, slam. Where do we get leftovers at, I wonder? Stop earthquaking! What are you doing? One more. Execute. Yeah, we should probably switch. We could go with the Furret Carp, do a little ice punching. Because they're like grass type, right? Grass poison? Would that be two times super, or four times super effective, rather? 
Yeah. It's pretty good. And a crit. No less. Bro. Oh, he's trying to solar beam. Quick, take him out. That was a close one. Oh man. Let's go ahead and use this revive here. That'd be so funny if we go to Victory Road and then Blue shows up. Do a little hyper potion type nonsense. Relax, Furtlax. And also for a chew. And then... Yeah, for Lexus full health. They just need one more level. And we can get uh, the whole rest strategy online. Probably shouldn't turn away from any battles at this point. Maximum XP. Try attack. There's only two heads, though. Okay, they're a trainer. Don't say a thing. Let me guess what you're thinking. Hmm. I got it. You're on the Pokemon League challenge? No, actually, I'm just, uh, doing an Uber Eats delivery. What do you- why would you- why else would I be on this road? Fury swipes? No. Uber drivers would be way cooler in the Pokemon universe. Because instead of pulling up in a car, they'd be like pulling up on like a Charizard. I like your rides here. Rapid spin. <laughs> ah, that did a lot less than I thought it would. Have fun being confused, though. Punch yourself. Good. Now, quick attack. One last problem. Oh, he's so close to 38. Bring it on. Do another dynamic punch. Big damage. Big confusion. Dynamic punch is so good. Even if it's not very effective, it's still like, you know, you can get confusion going. The only thing bad about it is that it, it doesn't hit most of the time. Confused? Come on, smack yourself. Quit hitting yourself. Quit hitting yourself. That's probably 38 right there. Big level. We're just trying to learn. Rest. It's here. It's finally arrived after all this time. Delete an older move to make room for rest? Absolutely. Which move? Defense curl. Wait. Quick attack? Wait. Fury swipes. Wait. Uh. Hmm. 
probably quick attack. We've got other ferrets that do quick attack. It doesn't do as much damage. It's basically just a glorified tackle, but with priority. Fury Swipes does way more damage, consistently. So I think we should get rid of quick attack, and then whenever we get, uh, like, sleep talk, use that instead of defense curl. Actually, if I'm going to replace Defense Curl anyway... Eh... Yeah, I'll just, I'll just quick attack. I want to leave the option of, of spamming Defense Curl. If we can just heal ourselves up to full afterwards. Giraffe Rig. We don't need, any, we don't need another Pokemon. Watch this. Giraffe rig, I sleep. I'm gonna try and get the dynamic punch through. Wait until they wake up. Wait, is this gonna be like a, a million turn sleep? Bert woke up. Dynamic punch. Missed. Oh. Went through that whole process and ended up with less health at the end. We just need we just need to put sleep talk talk on them. Oh, and they and they missed the fury swipes? Okay. I see how you're gonna be. Fine, I'll go use return instead. Baton pass? Why would you baton pass? You're the only Pokemon left. Don't make any sense. Fear swipes, please outspeed. Survive 40. Okay, we just we got this. That was too close. Good XP though. Psychic Gilbert. It's because he's cheating with his psychic powers. He knows what we're doing. That's what my premonition says. Premonition, that sounds serious. Might want to get that treated. Oh, they saw us? From all the way down there. Well, that's a problem. I didn't heal up yet. We've got three Pokemon. Rena. Army. Yeah, do a little switch out here. To the Furret Chew. I really don't like having this Golduck here. They can't come out. They are for HM use only. Thunder Punch. Okay, it did at least half health. We'll survive another bubble beam. That'll take them out. Yes, <laughs> they look like big old purple rock candy. I don't know why they like making the sprites super purple in this game. Yeah, we'll do a little switch out. Uh... Brett... True? With the ground type nonsense? We should be able to withstand one hit. 51. We outspeed. We've got the soft sand. I wonder if that makes up for the lack of same type attack bonus. Doesn't seem like it. Please don't do more than 50 damage. And they're out because it's a crit. 
All right, Ferret Carp, you're up. Uh, Ice Punch, actually. Super effective. <laughs> ah, they went for the tail whip. Amateur. They don't know what they're doing. Super effective. Oh, we got the freeze. Perfect. I'm just gonna go for the quick attack, though, because it's like... I'll just heal after this. Just take him out. Just get that one for free. That was the last one they had, right? No, there was a bonus one. I should have used revives. Uh, that's fine. We still hit the ice punch here. We'll survive. We're at full health. We'll take a bubble beam. Yeah, didn't even do half. Wait. Oh yeah, I, I keep forgetting. Like, that doesn't make any sense. The ice isn't super effective against water, but... That's just Pokemon rules, I guess. Okay, we'll take another hit from them, which means I should probably take, th take this chance to heal. Uh... Something a little bit stronger, something a little bit more effective. Uh... Brett Chew. Obviously. I could switch, I could pivot into the Furret Lax and use Rest now that we have it. Mm. I think the best strategy is to do damage this turn and then use the, uh, just let them knock this, the, the Furret Carp out so we can go for the, uh, go for the free switch out, give us a better turn, uh, give us an extra turn. Yeah, waste your critical hit on them. Okay, Furachu, come out. Apply a zip zap directly to the starfish. Then we'll easily take one of these. Uh. Yeah, no reason not to do it again. Man, I wish we'd get to a Pokemon Center already. It kind of sucks that the nearest actual Pokemon Center is like two towns away in Johto, and we're in Kanto now. Want to give me your number? I, I can't, I only have space for 10. Please, no other trainers, please, no other trainers. Please, just let me go to the Pokemon Center. gonna get ambushed at any second. Okay, there's no way around that guy. Actually... Wait. What's over here? I can just swim around them. What am I doing? I'm gonna... I'm gonna do a little healing. I don't know how far the nearest Pokemon Center is. I'm gonna play things a little bit careful here. Bring the Furret Chew back. And the Furret Carp. I wish you could use Rest outside of battle, that would be fun. And one more of those. Okay, that should be good. Oh, that goes one way. This also only goes one way. So I'm assuming the Elite Four is going to be the exact same as it was in the previous game. If we're literally going back to the same region.
Yeah, if that's the case, I'm I'm really concerned about Lorelei. Okay, there's no getting around this person. Wow, look at all those badges. I'm impressed, but you're not satisfied by just collecting them, right? You're right. I eat them as well. Psychic Richard wants to... Oh, Espeon. Purple Espeon. Oh, I'm out of... I'm out of Dynamic Punch. Fury Swipes, then. Ah, uh, literal minimum. Ah, uh, that wasn't that bad. Okay, okay. Swift. <laughs> Has that start screen sound as well. So it's like Swift and Metronome both make the same noise? Good battle. Grow from their experiences, don't get lazy and complacent. Says the guy who just lost to a team of all ferrets. You heal? Please, are you the healing center? Your Pokemon look a little tired. Thankful. So thankful, so grateful that you're out here. Doing this service. Awesome. Don't suppose you have like a PC around here somewhere? No? Okay. That's fine. Oh, they move. We can sneak through. Ice berry? I don't I don't care about ice berries, are you kidding me? Oh. Sneak failed. We gotta be getting close soon. Joyce wants to battle. Pikachu? What kind of alternate dimension is this? Punch at you. Right in the space. Last twice. Yeah. Get rid of their Pikachu just to bring out our own Ferretu. That's a cool Blastoise sprite, though. It doesn't look like a turtle, though. Like, his head is, like, shaped like a... Like he's a blue bear or something. Curse? Why would Blastoise use Curse? Hmm. Thunder Punch again. Super effective, chance to paralyze. I wonder if I should have more than one of our ferrets no rest. Oh, he's still building up stats. He thinks he's gonna have a chance to use them. That's funny. That's a lot of experience. Whoosh. Fur choose a level away from getting a chance to, to learn rest as well. Eight gym leaders, so I was feeling confident. Try harder next time. Item Finder is not responding. How about I swim around you? Oh. <laughs> Got me there. There's 
There's no escaping them. I just want to get there in one piece. I really wish I had a way to switch out the, uh, stupid duck. I don't know what I'm gonna do if, if they're like the last Pokemon we have left. I just have to intentionally lose if that happens. Punch him. Punch the plant. Also, why- that- that victory bell is very different looking. Uh... well... Fear swipes. High roll. Lowest possible roll. Toxic? They're really going for it. Come on, big fury swipes. Oh, come on. Four. Three. Crit? No. Okay, they're getting knocked out. Probably, maybe? Oh, we survive. Release from wrap. Oh, let's go. Rest. Almost had me. Full health. Yeah, I need to get sleep talk so I can try like punching him in, in for it lacks his sleep. See how how fast for it lacks can wake up now. Still asleep. I think if they attack first, then that means that we wake up that turn. Oh, they crit. And we end up right where we started. Except now we're asleep. Okay. Yeah, they need sleep talk. That's the only way that that's going to be useful. Because it just takes too long to wake up in this game. All the XP. How to use Kingler. It's a big crab. And I missed the Fury Swipes. Of course I do. Kill team. That's a... That's a very uh, scary sounding move. Return. Okay, they did more than half. We're good. They missed again. Let's go. And we hit a crit. And they go down. Longer for it. Flareon. Creative choice. I'll grant you that. Does your Flareon happen to know how to swim? Let's find out. Nah, it doesn't look like they do. Sand attack? They're not sandy on. I wonder what a sand type or what a ground type evolution would look like. Because Ferret's already brown. That's usually the characteristic color scheme of a ground type. 
or a normal type. It's become like uh, like light brown instead and larger. We're on with the fight. They can't use any fire type moves, but they can sure bite. Oh, almost got another level right then and there. Life is even tougher. Got 1536 for winning. It's Pokemon League. To get through Victory Road. It's tough. Practically nobody goes there. Oh, another person. Why did they do this? Why did they be like, oh, we're gonna make it so every single character in the game asks for your number, but you can only have 10 of them. That seems like a bit of an oversight to me. I take this guy. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. There's a temptation to go back and heal, but I probably got it. I don't remember Victory Road being this long. Cool trainer Jake. Whoa. Very dramatic Parasect. Got a lot more uh, shadows on him than last time. Got the big lobster claws. Oh, he's got slash. Okay, return. Do at least half. Okay. Excellent. Sleep. Okay, fine. Oh wait, no. Survive one slash? Okay. Pivot two for a true. I wonder how the AI makes decisions about what to do. Shadow Ball. If you're already asleep, there's there's probably no reason that they're ever going to try and use Spore a second time. Unless it's just truly random. One HP? Surprising. Well, that was a miscalculation. Okay, just don't use Spore again. Hit him with Cut. Same type of attack bonus, Cut. Ooh, they're level 39. We almost got our first level 40. It's pretty good. About to use Gold Duck. Nah, for it, choose the perfect answer for that. Zap some ducks. Yeah, I think we got this. This is fine. I'm gonna go back and heal after this, though, because it's getting a little too close to, uh, us starting to have Pokemon fainting. Oh, of course, they get confusion going on. Just go through it. Please? Okay. I wonder how tough the Elite Four is in this game. Tougher than the gym leaders. 
As long as there isn't a steel type elite for a person. Probably fine. I think there is a couple trainers I didn't fight on the way through here originally. Oh wait, what am I doing? I just passed the healing place. Brain's just on autopilot. I think that's a sign that I should probably take a quick rehydration and ventilation break. Since my brain's getting a little fried over here. Uh, I did fix the intermission screen. I'm gonna be back in like a like a minute. Give myself a chance to cool down. So I can actually focus. Be right back. And we're back. On the road once again. Uh, we haven't had enough ferrets around. Let me just fix that really quick. There we go. In case that, that'll throw off the gold duck, like offset the gold duck. Anthony, why? Anthony. You calling my calling my number all the time. I'm gonna block your number, Anthony. Okay. Continuing on Victory Road. Almost at the Elite Four. Actually, what does that badge even look like? I don't know if I paid too much of attention to that last badge. Looking like a like a wild Pokemon symbol. 
from the Pokedex, almost. No, it's supposed to be like a like a dragon head. Dragons. Oh, challenger poaches. Lost to a trainer named Small Red. <laughs> he was really strong, but it was as if he absolutely had to win at any cost. I felt sorry for his Pokemon. Me too. Cool trainer, Beth. Me too. Rapidash. The horse is facing right towards us. Punch it. Come on, for it. Speed went up. Punch it. Oh. That's not doing much. Punch it. Why are you so slow for it? Miss every, every hit. That's the one downside of Dynamic Punch, is that it just doesn't... It doesn't work most of the time. I swear it must have like a 20% chance to actually land. Stomp. They flinched! Whoa! The confusion noise is the exact same noise as whenever a Pokemon fans. I didn't notice that before. Oh, of course they've got like a tiny little bit of health left. Come on, punch yourself. That's it. Yep, I think Furlax is going to be our first 40. And we're invaluable lifelong partners. And of course they ask for a number. I did see an item down there. Yeah, let's go for it. I might as well, right? Max Elixir. I couldn't risk it being like a valuable TM that we don't have or something. So what's this building? Route 26, Pokemon League Reception Gate. Hello, receptionist. Only trainers who have proven themselves may pass. Oh, the eight badges of Johto. Please, go right ahead, sir. Oh. These guys are gonna fight us for sure. <laughs> Think for so strong and scary, they're ready for you. They didn't actually fight us, huh? This way leads to Mount Silver. Okay, so these are like the post-game like options that open up after you beat the Elite Four. This probably takes you to the rest of Johto. This way takes you to Mount Silver to fight Red. Okay. Not this puzzle again. Uh Let me through. I wish they give us a chance to swap out the gold duck because I don't. It's not supposed to be here. There's no way for me to get rid of him. Wing attack. Fred Zard's not getting any experience now. Kind of a problem if we need fire types. Actually, we are gonna need fire types because I'm pretty sure they're gonna open up with Lorelei again. The 
is kind of the problem. Yeah, I wish you didn't need HMs. You could have six Pokemon. But instead, you gotta designate one of them to be the HM user, and that's pretty much it. Who is this? Ah, it's Graveler. That's kind of reassuring that eventually Geodude gets his pupils back when he evolves. Big Mac survive. Well, this is a dead end. I guess you don't need strength here. Next floor. Just like a bunch of items here. confusion. This feels familiar. Is this literally just like the strength puzzle but they filled in all the holes and got rid of all the strength rocks? But it's like the same map? I think that's exactly what this is. Oh. Seems like there's less wild Pokemon showing up, at least. Big purple Golbat. Uh... So I go up here? Is this whole area a dead end? No. We didn't go this way. That's a hole in the wall. That's a hole in the floor. I'll take the, the wall hole. Graveler can... ...go in the floor. Oh. No. Not... Not now, what are you doing? Ah... Uh. That's fine. We only need- we don't even need a full six Pokemon to fight him. Not gonna lie, really wish I didn't have the Gold Duck here, because I can't- I can't bring him out, or else I have to... to like, reset. Fierce Wipes. Screech? Okay, that's fine. Don't do not do any damage. Yeah, wake us up. Screech is nice and loud. Fast asleep. Screeching again. Failed. We woke up. Dynamite Punch, please land. It didn't miss. Or, it did miss. Fierce Wipes at least. Still full health. We missed again. Oh, Fury Cutter? Okay. Didn't do hardly anything. That's fine. Sneasel. Big roll in the Fury Swipes. Fury Cutter doing more and more. Fury Cutter is like the one of the worst moves in the game. I shouldn't be concerned about that. Like a bug type manual rollout. Yeah, let's switch back over to the Ferechu. Punch this big old purple bat. Hit a 
this with the wing attack. Come on. So far, so good. Really wish I had Ferret Zard here. Come on, one more Thunder Punch. Don't hit yourself. Okay. Awesome job, Ferretchu. Almost leveled. About to use Magneton. That's a problem. Yeah, we'll switch. Uh... Yeah, Steel types are scary. That's the thing that I'm taking away from this, is that Furret... Furret does not like Steel types. Uh... Sir. Rust the Steel. Yeah, it didn't do much. Should have used for a true. Should I keep going at this? Let's let's pivot for a true. Thunder shock. Okay. At least it's not thunder wave because then that would paralyze. Actually, is steel effective against steel? I don't know. I'm gonna go for dig. Yeah, nice try, Magneton. Big damage, big damage. Okay. Undershock. As long as, as long as it doesn't crit, we should be able to dig again. Okay, I think we got this. That's like the scariest Pokemon he has. Okay, he's down. For it, Carp 28. Trying to learn Slam. No, for it, Carp. You're not supposed to do that. Six hundred XP. What else did you have? Haunter. Actually, no. We don't want to switch. Ah, uh, we should probably do some healing. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the heals. At least we got potions. Yeah, we need Furichu because they're the only one that has a ghost type move. Can't escape now. Wasn't planning on it. I'm not stuck in here with you, you're stuck in here with me. Not for long, though. He took himself out. Nice job, small red. Kadabra. Okay. I'm actually not that worried about psychic types. They're generally strong, but... That's about it, though. They don't... They're not, like, super effective. They don't have, like, strong resistances. Or saw an attack. Wow. Oh, yeah, that's right, they're cursed, I forgot. Okay. That's fine, that doesn't do that much damage. Ah, uh, curse is really annoying. Ah, uh, I forget the type matchup. I think we want to use Shadow Ball here. Yeah. That'll take him out. Alright. And then there's one left. Meganium. And we'll switch for our starter, too. Because I feel like that's, what, that's just what you gotta do. Starter versus starter, right? Hit by future sight? What?
Abracadabra attacking from, like, I don't want to say beyond the grave, because they're just fainted, but... Big return. Please survive one Razor Leaf. With literally one HP. <laughs> oh, this is getting scary now. Uh... We're good. Just, just walk it off for it. For it's good at walking it off. Hit the return, hope for a crit. Still, I think that puts it in range of uh, one more return, taking them down. And we outspeed. Somehow the Razor Leaf didn't crit. One more return, and this will probably do it. And that's our rival down. Nice. What a what a wonderful day to uh, beat the Living Daylights out of our rival. Oh wait, that's every day. I gave it everything I had, what you possess, and what I lack. I'm beginning to understand what that Dragon Master said to me. I have given up on becoming the greatest trainer. I'm going to find out why I can't win and become stronger. Challenge you and I'll beat you down with all my power. I didn't tell them. So this is, so this is the end of the uh, cave. And just like that, We've reached the Indigo Plateau. Pokemon League HQ. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy that, we're, that we made it here, but that also means we gotta deal with the Elite Four now. <laughs> Do a little healing. We can finally get rid of the Gold Dug. What is that? Is that a Mr. Mime? Okay, let's just deposit this weird blue for it. Kind of, kind of scary looking. Take our Fritzard back. Yeah, I really wish we had gotten them some more experience, because now they're super underleveled and we're going to need them for Lorelei. So let's go ahead and switch them back up to the front, because they need experience like no one else. Like, actually. This guy's a store. Okay. Okay. How many items we can get rid of? Deposit. Uh. Heal mint berry vibe. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Ice berry. I'm not gonna use the ice berry. I don't think we've been burned once this whole game. Ralph, not now. It's me, Ralph. How are you doing? How are your Pokemon doing? How are you doing? How are your Pokemon doing? My Goldane's really energetic. It's a handful. Almost caught a Mareep the other day. So close to... Was, was he using his fishing rod? Was he just like, like trying to fish for Mareeps on the land? Like, ah. Uh, almost had him. It's the big Mareep that got away. Challenging the Elite Four. Sure you're ready. You train some more. Abra can help you. Wait, it can teleport you home. No. That's an Abra? 
that. That right there is an Abra. That's not an Abra. That's a Mr. Mime. He's doing psychic mime tricks on you. Kind of looks like an Oshawott. Oh. No NPCs up here. Okay. It's just like a normal Pokemon Center upstairs. It's business down here, though. Oh, man. So in intimidating. Does this just go straight into it? Oh, it does just go straight into it. Well, we're here now. Hey, Lorelei. Long time no see. Well, I guess we're fighting the Elite Four now. Fingers crossed. Will? What? Will. Trained all around the world, making my psychic Pokemon. This area is ice themed. You're not. I've been accepted into the Elite Four. Well, that's a surprise. This doesn't even look like a psychic area. It's in a. It's a hot two with. Weird eyes on his chest that I haven't seen before. Which ones are the real ones? Well, I have the wrong Pokemon out for this. Uh. For a true? Psychic. Oh. That that looked a bit spicy. Yeah, this isn't good. Shadow Ball? Nope, they're just gonna roast us instantly. Okay, we're we're not ready for this. I just went upstairs because I want to see what was upstairs, and it's just like, oh, surprise, it's the Elite Four. <laughs> Uh, so... Do I just purposefully lose so I don't waste any items because they're losing them as permanent? That's a very dramatic effect. Really paints the whole, uh... Like... Damaging us with his mind. Fury Swipes? Yeah, I think we just go ahead and uh, intentionally throw here just so we don't waste any items or time. Kind of, sort of, trying to get some damage out, but... Yeah, no, this is... I don't think we win this. Didn't buy any full restores or anything. Yeah, I'm a little bit concerned. Trying to learn rest? Would I learn rest on Ferechu? If I were, hypothetically, what, what move would I get rid of? Is it better to have Defense Curl, or is it better to have... Rest? Thunder Punch, Defense Curl, Slam. Hmm. Yeah. 
maybe defense curl, actually. Because it's just like... I feel like a full heal is more valuable than just raising your defense one level. There's items that can do that if you want to do that. It'd be good to not have to, like, use, like, full restores all the time. Yeah, that's cheaper, too, if I do it that way. Let's get ready to fence girl. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll teach them uh, rest instead. Have a self-healing option. Yeah, we'll switch in... Do we still have its art? We do. Okay. A little fire punch. They're so much higher level, though. Will we even take one Psychic? No. Not even. Yeah. I think we gotta train more. Dynamic Punch? Have that land? And missed. If we can get that to hit, that's super effective. Against one of their types. But they are confused now. Didn't affect us. Fury swipes. Yeah, for it lacks is our tank. In typical Snorlax fashion. I still got three Pokemon left. This is rough. Carp for the Ice Punch. They're just so much higher level, they're all at least level 40. They're all just spamming Psychic. Okay, well, this is still a very educational, uh, thing. I totally expected the Elite Four to be the exact same as it was in Gen 1, since this is still Kanto. But no, actually. The Elite Four is completely different. Uh... Yeah, that's not good. Dynamic Punch. Hit the Confusion. Fingers crossed he just keeps hitting himself. Nope. Get roasted anyway. Yeah, in my mind I've already written this off as a loss. I was completely unprepared and didn't even realize that this was signing up for entering the Leap 4 already. At least if we survive to the second one, we could at least see what the next one's gonna be, but uh, I don't think we're gonna get that far. Yeah, no. So we just end up back downstairs again, right? Yeah. Okay. So now we've got the Ferret Zard back. We should probably go back south and try and train on the trainers that we missed. Just whatever you do, don't go up those stairs. How much is a forest aura? Because we need like a million of those. 3,000. I see. Well, we have a teleport option, at least. 
for its arts up at the front. Where do we get leftovers in this game? What was this way? Kinda just went this way and didn't even check the other direction. Get a little more experience points. I guess we're gonna I guess we're gonna spend the rest of this trying to grind up for the Elite Four. We're gonna need some serious strategy to get through there with all for its. It's gonna be like nothing we faced yet in this run. Keep throwing rocks at the bats. And we hit strength one more time. There goes the gold bat. The Pokemon in this cave, at least, are, are pretty high level relative to our weakest Pokemon. So we can get some experience off of that. Onyx, what are you doing here? Go back to Pewter City, Smelly. Oh, he's angry now. He didn't like that. Draw it for it, Carp. We are absolutely going to want them to get higher level as well, because we need their Ice Punch for dealing with dragons. Just flood the entire cave. Yeah, we should just probably like fully explore this cave. I think the only place that we needed Waterfall was just getting to Kanto. Gonna jump in this hole in the floor. Team 26. What would that be? Earthquake. Bert learn earthquake? No. Where it's too light to cause an earthquake. Only 76 pounds. It's a bad day to be a bat in this cave. Especially if you're allergic to rocks. nice. Trying to learn Slam. It's just not accurate enough. I should probably comb through all of our TMs and see if there's anything I can use to make our Pokemon stronger. Here. Max Potion. Pretty good. I got two one-way paths here. I think I go south. Brit Zard. Uh, I'll switch back over to the Brit Carp. They're the same level now. We probably want our Pokemon all like over level 40 at least. Self-destruct. But why though?
That's like cheating or something. Should I just start running from all Gravelers? I don't know why strength isn't effective. How did I know that he was going to self-destruct as well? That's always ominous whenever they self-destruct at the end of a battle. And then it just goes quiet before the battle ends. Ugly rock for it. Critical hit. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so, there wasn't a Psychic-type gem in Johto. I'm trying to think what types we're going to be dealing with. So we've got a separate Elite Four for this game. We already had an Ice-type gem, so we're probably not going to have an Ice-type Elite Four member. We only had steel too, so that's out of the way. And fighting. So it's psychic. What, we'll have like a poison type? Probably? Maybe a grass type? Poison grass type? <laughs> bug type elite four? No. We had a bug type gem. I wish we could have at least survived to see the, the second Elite Four member. Hopefully this means Bruno's not there. That would be a pain. Have I been through here? Why didn't I go that way and get the item? It's literally right there. I start pushing these onyxes out of the out of the out to the side. Brain doing a little sentence remix there. X special. Yeah, we need to go back and heal. The two main Pokemon I need to level up are both fainted because of stupid self-destruct. Whoa. Ursa Ring. What are you doing in this cave? And of course, something would block us from leaving. I had a feeling. Oh, it's another self-destruct voice. I'm gonna just start running from Gravelers because they always they always do the self-destruct nonsense. Yeah, I guess we should just try and get out of the cave again. Go back to like the start of like. Uh, the part where we enter Kanto and to just go for all the trainers we skipped. For maximum XP, and then we'll be able to come back and forth a lot smoother, because we won't have all the trainers to get around. Uh, how do you 
give you like a little fire punch or syringe. Toasty. Rest? But, but why though? Fast to sleep. Just keep throwing rocks at him while he's sleeping. Oh, Ursaring was the first to fall asleep at the slumber party. Critical mistake. He's like, at what level does Frit learn more fire type moves? Oh, wait. This way. Actually, wait, this is the wrong way. Mm. How are we going to deal with this? So they're going to throw psychic types at us. I think the only thing we can really do about that is to have just higher levels. Like, we shouldn't have anything that's still like 20-something when we're going up against 40s. That's just asking for trouble. I mean, yeah, you could, I guess, given the, the just the perfect move set, barely make it around that if you're lucky. That's really not ideal. I mean, we just need to be at higher level. Nothing to do but to grind. That's kind of concerning, though. On one hand, I'm, like, relieved that it's not Lorelei again, but at the same time, what else are we going to have to deal with instead? Level 32 gold bat. Maybe I'll fight them. Eh, maybe not. Oh, there's actually a hidden item here? Full heal. Oh, exit of the cave. I will happily take that. Okay, let's try and fight all the trainers. Got this nice path back. What level Pokemon appear here? There's a building over here? Did I see this before? Sand Slash? What are you doing here, Sand Slash? I guess Sandshrew always did live on Victory Road. I wonder if you can catch a Pikachu in, in, in this one. Probably not. This is still when they're like, oh, starters? Or they're basically like legendaries. You only get them in special conditions. Not like how things are now with like Sword and Shield, where you can just like catch a, a whole team of Eevees if you want. Yeah, 
Big Frit Zard. What is this building? It's being guarded by this two headed bird. The bird is enraged. Nice crit there. Save us a little bit of time. Level up. Who lives here? A book lives here. Something written here. Read it? Sure. To my brothers and sisters, we take pride in serving Pokemon trainers. When trainers talk to you, give them something useful. Monica. Who? Monday, Monica Route 40. Tuesday, Tuscany Route 29. Honestly, like a read. Okay, so every day of the week, an NPC appears at a random city. That's where they live. Okay. Just go all the way back here. Actually, I think this is as far back as we need to go. Wild Ponita. Yeah, it looks like everything here is like level 30 or above. On this whole path. Oh, that's big. Quick attack. In the red, but we still knocked him out. Okay, on this harsh trek, the truth will be revealed. Challenge me, fool. I think this is as far back as we go, because if we go any further back, we'll get to the waterfall cave. Cool trainer Brian wants to battle. Oh, of course he's got Sand Slash. That's why they call him Cool Trainer. Fair play. We have Fur at Carp, though. Do a little surfing. Sand Slash does not like water. I guess he doesn't look like he'd be that good at swimming. He swims through the land, not through the water. Got two super effective moves. I don't know if there's anywhere else that, like, we skipped a bunch of trainers at. Where's all the people with our phone number are all back in, uh, back in Johto. That's kind of crazy that there's just an Abra that can teleport you back to your, like, hometown. That establishes that they can teleport over huge distances. Oh, you, you gotta be kidding me. There's another whirlpool area here.
Okay, the fish are the high, the lowest level we can find in this region. No. No number for you. You wish you could have my number, but you cannot. Yeah, I, I skipped this guy. Feeling great today. I feel like I could boot even the league champ. That would be quite rude of you. Fisherman Scott. <laughs> the puffer fish. Didn't bring the, the carrot item. Fish with the big defense. Yeah, fortunately abilities aren't a thing yet. So you can just punch him with lightning. That's a lot of pins. Okay, we get it, cool fish. You got spikes. Yeah, I should probably go through the TMs and start teaching them. Yeah, because if we got Sleep Talk... Furitlax needs to have that pretty soon. Because that's, that's my strategy with them, is to go with some, some serious Snorlax, Rest, Sleep Talk nonsense. King. But what is he seeking? Everyone asks what is he seeking? But no one asks how is how is seeking. Yeah, I'm going to teach the TMs after this. Fisher Scott was defeated. So, let's see here. What does Swagger do? Causes confusion and racist attack. Apparently attacks. Okay, sleep talk is a is a given. That's the whole point of, of me getting for it lacks. Trying to learn sleep talk. Yes. Okay, so I have rest. Get rid of defense curl. Cause then we can dynamic punch or furious wipes. That'll work. Oh, if it isn't Bird Trio. Let's bring out the Furtlax and try that out, shall we? Actually, no, they're, they, they don't even need rest yet. But that will take them up to level 40, though. Which is huge. Here he swipes. Yeah, the same type of attack bonus, Furious swipes, the dynamic punch. The only thing I would potentially use instead would be like Swift or something like that, but... I feel like that's really good as it is. I 
punch the bird. It didn't work. Okay, now I could probably try the strategy. Rest. Full health. It's pursuit, critical hit, doesn't do much. Sleep talk. So, it's gonna randomly choose between... Oh, yeah, Dynamic Punch or Fury Swipes. Nice. Almost level 40. That's such a good strategy. It completely eliminates the downside of fully healing yourself. Stop by here really quick. Right, so... Actually, do we have any other moves that we should teach? Uh... Roll out, potentially. Do any of them have stuff that I'm willing to get rid of? Fritzard's got Strength, Defense Curl, Quick Attack. So Defense Curl, Quick Attack could go away. What about Starter for it? Defense Curl, Quick Attack, Fury Swipes, Return. Tempted. Very tempted. We've got Surf, Ice Punch, Quick Attack, Defense Curl. Potentially them. Iron Tail, Dig, Shadow Ball, Defense Curl. That's pretty good as it is. How good is uh, Mud Slap? Reduce the foe's accuracy. It only does like 20 attack power though. Bert doesn't learn Dragon Breath, does he? <laughs> no, I didn't think so. We could teach headbutt, we could teach rollout. Attack that never misses. I think it's got like 60 base power. But I think we, we might get the same type of attack bonus on that. Tract, thief. May steal a, a held item. I don't know if they have held items. Excessive hits, rise power. Fury cutter is not very good. So probably either swift or roll out or headbutt for flinch. Those are probably the only three I'd actually consider using. I like the thought of being able to raise our defense, though. With defense curl. It's good to have a priority move, just in case. So I guess that's all the trainers in this area. So instead, I guess we fight wild Pokemon to level up. We explore the cave. 
ignore all Gravelers. Because they will self-destruct. Typical maze strategies. Like, hug one side. Now oh, I got the item here. Ooh, Rhyhorn. Purple Rhyhorn. For some reason. Strength. That's not exactly great. Switch them to... I think... Are they rock? Or ground? Let's find out. Actually, yeah, Iron Tail. And we missed. Of course we did. I don't like how many of our moves are RNG dependent. It has the potential to raise some real problems. That got him. Yeah, Fury Attack isn't that good. Dig a hole. Trying to scare us while we're underground. Smart. Not really, though. Uh, so yeah, they're rock type. Thought so. It's still gonna be two more generations before Lucario exists, and that's kind of a crazy idea. Almost at another level. Can I potentially get a burn from this fire punch? Burn the rock a little bit? I know why I felt like I needed to do that. I could feel the critical hit. Sandstorm. You've left me no choice. Onyx probably smells like limestone. Like the inside of a cave. It could just be the cave. Of course you got a critical hit. That'll probably, uh, I guess not do that much. Whoops. Survive. How much does that do? That does way more than I'm comfortable with. Okay. Uh, Furrich Carp. You've got ice type stuff. Your turn. Ah, uh, he tried to. Re Renew the sandstorm, but it, it failed on him anyway. How is there a sandstorm inside of a cave? Level 34 at Zard. I think that way leads out. Actually, I'm not sure. I'll go that way after I'm done with this Earth's Ring. That's so weird. They actually gave him a yellow circle on the Earth ring, but they didn't put yellow circles on Umbreon. Weird.
Why does Ursa Ring get special treatment? Swap out the ordinary for it. Of course, it's too critical. Fury swipes. Yeah, Return is just too good. We gotta give him a better move. Faint attack. He's trying to be uh, transparent with us. Almost leveled. What is this way? Nothing. Gold bat. I'm gonna do a defense curl, actually. Make him a little bit tankier. Yeah, if we were just like a bit higher level, like 40 something, so we could probably spam Defense Curl, get really tanky, heal up, and then sweep. Trying to figure out how we're gonna deal with the Elite Four. Scary psychic types. Oh, we already went this way. Fire Pounch. Roasted bats. I'm so confused. Didn't mean to use defense ray, but okay. Defense ray? Yeah, I used defense ray. Defense curl, I mean. Oh, that is that a crit? Oh, it's just that strong. We outspeed. This will probably take him out. Oh yes. I feel like that's a very key thing, knowing when you can attack and when you need to run for it. I'm glad this cave isn't as annoying as it was in the previous game. Pokemon are fully healed. Let's see. Probably want to put the uh, Frit Carp. I'm gonna like switch them around based on level. 28, 30, 32, 33, 38, 39. Yeah. I wish we had a better way to get experience at this point. I'm always like worried whenever I have to do any sort of grindy stuff on stream that it's just like, oh, it's so boring. Like, should I just like save it like for like off stream and then come back when every everybody's like level 40?
Well, at least Vert Carp is mostly effective against the things we find in the cave. So maybe we'll get experience faster. Yeah, all the Elite Four people are going to be at least level 40 Pokemon or higher. We can't be having level 28s. Or 29s. I don't think I went this way before. Yeah, this is actually a good place for the, uh... Brit Carp to get experience. So they, got, they got two super effective moves. Maybe I teach them Swift. They're gonna be really good to have if there's any dragon nonsense coming out. You don't mind the grind? Okay. That's really reassuring to hear. I mean, I guess it's unavoidable with a with a run like this. Just like, usually, if this was like for like YouTube or something, you'd be cutting a lot of this out. <laughs> he used rest when he was missing like one HP. Am I interrupting your hibernation, or Ring? Too bad. It's unfortunate the people who designed this world made you a glorious pinata of experience points. They woke up. Yeah, that's kind of uh, concerning to me how fast Psychic was just <laughs> cooking through our team, like a microwave. I'm sure a big part of that was just that we were like really underleveled. I don't know when, like, how much levels we should have, but I think at least, like, probably all, like, at least 40. Yeah, we probably get, could get away with, like, 38? 37, 38? With a lot of items. I'd be cutting it close, though, I think. I'm seriously thinking about sw swapping Quick Attack with uh, Swift on this Pokémon. I kind of like the thought of using Rollout. I don't know who I'd put it on. A iconic normal type move where it becomes the mill tank. Oh, yeah. So that's level 30. They're both 30. Okay. Yeah, Swift is 100% hit. And it gets same type attack bonus, I'm pretty sure, because it's it's normal type and for its normal type. So 
Yeah, I think even I think Swift even works if you're in like the first phase of dig. And you're like under the ground, like Swift will still connect. It's almost like a like a soft like uh, aura sphere or something like Lucario. It's like for its aura sphere. <laughs> It has at least 60 base power, I think, if I remember correctly. And for it's pretty fast, so I feel like it's probably, arguably, quite a bit better than uh, Quick Attack, since Quick Attack is basically just fast tackle. It still only has the 40 base power. So if we outspeed anyway, objectively, it would be better to use Swift. Even just for uh, attack power alone. So glad that Vert learned Surf. They're gonna run out of Surf before they run out of HP. We're like four levels under them too and we're still one-shotting them. Oh, right. I'm really glad they decided to omit the whole uh, strength puzzle. Okay, Earth String's normal. Probably want to switch here, actually. Give Furt's Art a chance to shine. They're even closer to leveling up. Fire Punch. Maybe Furt's Art needs something different, because right now, I mean... Strength is alright, but you mainly get strength just so you can get through, like, rocks and stuff. Maybe Ferret's Art should learn Rollout. I mean, the only other ground type they even learn would be... Uh, Mud Slap. That only has 20 base power. I can get this burn going. Yeah, but rollout. Uh, actually, isn't rollout rock type? So give us rock type coverage. That could be pretty good. I kind of want to do something to boost, like, the Ferret Zard's, like, defensive stats, though, so they'd be able to stay around long enough to take full advantage of rollout. They've got Defense Curl. So maybe just, like... I'm not getting rid of Fire Punch, because they're, they're our only possible fire coverage. We need strength for navigating the world. So that'd be Quick Attack or Defense Curl. I'd probably swap Quick Attack with... Roll Out. So yeah, I guess we just have to get them pretty high level, so we can spam Defense Curl, full restore them, and then go into Rollout. But of course, that would make us just as susceptible as Whitney's Mill Tank to being shut down by, like, status effects. 
And knowing the Elite Four, they're going to have plenty of those. He tried resting at full HP. quick attack do on these guys. Not much. He vanished. Big fire punch. Only has a 10% chance to burn. Oh no. He survived? Oh, he just barely survived. I liked the thought of like putting Swift on the the Furret Lack so we could be using Swift in our sleep with the whole sleep talk situation. It's a shame I can't get more than one copy of uh, Sleep Talk, or I would totally do that. We have that strategy on like two different Furrets. I think I'm pretty sure that's a once per game TM though. Nice. Yeah. So if we had like the uh for it lacks here. I just don't like how Fury Swipes and Dynamic Punch are both like probabilistic. But, I mean, it, just having, like, sleep talk does offset, like, the issue with rest making you sleep. So on average, you would end up working out for the better, because you, you get all the healing from that. I feel like that outweighs, like, the, the chance that you don't do damage. Because that is just a free full heal, whenever you want. As long as you're not asleep already. I forget what they call the Chesto Berries in this game, but that, that would also be a good thing to do if we didn't have Sleep Talk. Is we could go, like, rest, and then take advantage of, like, the berry that wakes you up. Whatever it's called in this game. And it would just instantly heal us up, or it would uh, wake us up. So we'd basically just get a one-time use full heal. Just built into the ferret. Of course the downside of doing that is that you only get one of those. Shrew out. I'm just glad for it actually gets this kind of kind of coverage. He gets steel type moves. He gets ghost type moves. He gets dig. The HM party, like the HM Pokemon Revenge. Oh, I went for rest. Oh right, I, I keep forgetting that Ghost doesn't affect normal. 
which doesn't make sense to me. I, I, I get why normal doesn't affect ghosts, but you'd think the ghost would affect normal. Because it's like, oh, electric and ground don't have that go both ways. Like, ground is just fine against electric. But with ghost and normal, it goes both ways. For some reason. Uh... Guess I'll break out the fur at you. Just because this guy's way too tanky. I guess the reason they put these Pokemon at the end of the game is so it's like, oh, you can catch them, and they're, they're already really good for fighting the Elite Four. Because he has, like, rest and stuff. Let's just see how the odds are. It'd be really funny if there's like some sort of bug with like the way the game's coded and like if you sleep talk, like dynamic punch like connects 100% of the time or something like that. I don't think that's how that works though. Oh, and this isn't even the right for it anyway. Okay, well, enjoy being full health for it, you. Yeah, Swift is really good. The Furlax is almost 40. It's literally the only fighting type move that Furt can learn. One shots. Experience for everybody. Yeah, the only move left for Furret to learn, I believe at 48, is Amnesia. And that's like the last move that Furret learns through level up. I don't really plan on using it. So rest is the last, like, relevant move we get a hold of. At that point, grinding only gives us stats after 38. Ice is such a good type for attacking. It's pathetic in terms of defense, but really good for attacking with. Which makes it really good that Furret actually learns uh, Ice Punch. We'll survive that, right? Yeah, just barely. Go for the quick attack. Yeah, they're getting a little bit low now. Probably go for the heal up since we're near the door. Yeah, I think I've pretty much fought every trainer I could. I could go back and like do like the rematches from like the phone calls, but they're literally all the way back in Johto. I have to deal with the whole water waterfall situation again. Probably easier just to grind here. Since all the wild Pokemon are like in their 30s here. This is like the same strength as like gym Pokemon before. Yeah, maybe I should teach for its art, like roll out. I wish we could get Toxic before the post-game. That'd be a game-changer. 
but you literally have to go back to, like, Kanto after you beat the Elite Four and fight Koga again, because he's still the only way to get Toxic. Furret does learn it. It's just we, we have to have already beaten the game to get it. Oh, right. Yeah, I think ch I think our for it Zard would probably be the best Pokemon to put rock coverage on. I know Earthquake is a very popular move to be used on Charizard. Competitively. Then he learns Secret Power, which gives Charizard rock coverage. So Charizard can beat other Charizards. Earthquake's fantastic when it works. I didn't realize this, but apparently if you if you're in the first turn of dig when you're under the ground, like this. Earthquake actually does double damage. That'll teach those other ground types. Switch out. We're just not doing enough damage. I think I'm gonna do that. I feel like that's just more interesting and would give us better coverage. I wonder if Furret learns any grass type moves. Probably not. Not this generation, at least. Of course, he's got rest. We spam slam. Big XP. Not that big XP. Yeah, I'm gonna I think I'm gonna do it actually. What do we have for for it sword currently? Defense curl quick Yeah, we'll get rid of the quick attack. It's just like I mean, yeah, quick attack gets priority. But you can easily get, like, a higher speed stat just through, like, grinding and getting a better, like, speed stat. So you don't even need priority. But it's still, like, limited by only having 40 base power. So, yeah, I definitely, like, roll out a lot better. move, get rid of that quick attack. Especially if we could get, like, if we could, like, spam defense curl. I'm pretty sure that is rock type. Yeah. Attacks five turns, rising power. 
to try that out. Who's our victim? I mean opponent. Ah, Ursaring. Excellent. Very tanky. Likes to sleep. It always does like a turn one rest, it seems like. Like it's hard coded into the AI. Put that down here, put this up here. Actually. Yeah. Like that layout better. So now they've got fire and rock coverage. Roll out. <laughs> he rested after, like, losing 2 HP. That's a bad time to sleep. Critical rollout. Yeah, this is way better than quick attack. Automatically takes him out. Another one. And this is with us, like, having a level disadvantage. I wonder if it's, like, worth it to get one defense curl in. I'm just gonna go for the rollout. Hello! Just doing a little bit of grinding here, near the end of my stream, because we got the Elite Four coming up. Beating the entire game with just the Furret line in combat. Big rollout. We miss. Yeah. Only gym leader I ever had trouble with was the was the steel type one, which it took two attempts instead of one. I still don't know how I beat Chuck first attempt with just Fritz. Uh They're getting a little low, I'm gonna switch over to the big Fritz. That's a big crit. Level ups all around. Alright, how are we doing on HP? Yeah, I think since we're right by the door, I'll go back and heal, since it's literally right there. I wonder why they chose to make it so you need Waterfall specifically to go back and forth between Johto and Kanto. It's just like, on the map, it, it, it just looks like there's a road that connects the two. But no, you gotta go up a waterfall and then down another waterfall. Not something for it is particularly good at. Ah. 
That ought to one-shot him. Yeah, because everybody in the Elite Four is going to be level 40 or higher. I wonder what I can do, like, status effect-wise to try and deal with those Psychics. They're not very tanky. It's just they do too much damage. So I guess it's kind of like the fighting type situation. We probably have a way better chance if we just outsped them. Next we meet again. A bunch of sentient rocks attempting to uh, have the same power as for it. Look at what he must do to imitate our power. Is he gonna is he gonna do the turn one rest again? I should probably just do like a tiny little quick attack so he, he goes to sleep for sure. Oh, he actually went for the fury swipes. They're learning. I think it's just random if they use rest or not. Okay, what am I what am I gonna do about you? Big rollouts. I wonder what the odds of like rollout missing are. Kind of stops all your momentum. Okay, now he's going for rest. I hadn't even considered that that would be a, like a good way to, uh, Shutdown rollout is like decreasing accuracy. Because if they miss one, then they stop building up damage. That was a short nap. And they're knocking out uh, for absurd. Of course they are. Okay. Fair play. Connect one dynamic punch and they're out. I wonder if this is the game like trying to teach you like how valuable rest is as a move. Like the game's trying to show you, you can totally just do this. Like right before you get to the Elite Four. That was the last dynamic punch, and we missed every one of them. I need to put, like, more power points on dynamic punch, I think.
As much as that misses. It's still pretty unlucky to miss every single one of them. I think if that didn't crit, it would probably would have survived with like one HP left there. I wonder what we have in terms of options for getting like more money for full restores. If, if worse comes to worse and we mess up with the Elite Four next time. Those four stores are expensive. I think that's probably the ideal strategy. If I was to do this again, I probably wouldn't get any of the phone numbers until, like, the Pokemon League. So then you can just use the trainers here to, like, grind money and experience. Because now if I wanted to go and rematch trainers, since you only got 10 numbers, I'd have to go basically back to the start of the game. Maybe I'll, like... I don't know. I'm probably gonna wrap things up pretty soon. Heal up really quick. I don't know, maybe I should go back and try and, like, rematch some of the other trainers, but I feel like the Pokémon being as high level as they are here... ...that's still pretty good for experience. Like, I can't imagine Joey's Rattata is much higher level than it was originally. So we're, we're, we're probably better off here. Oh, speaking of people calling us... Good morning, it's me, Alan. How are you doing? My Tangle is looking awesome. I wish I could show you. Yeah, I managed to beat a tough Nidoran. Need to make my party stronger. Yeah. Probably not getting that much experience from them. Uh. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap things up for today. Uh. We'll continue this on Monday. We're like right at the Elite Four, and that's really exciting, but also really terrifying at the same time, because, uh, yeah, those, those psychic types, they, they, they dish out the damage. But I guess that's, uh, Monday Me's problem. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream today. I'll be back at the usual time. I hope you enjoyed things today, uh... Thank you for watching, and hopefully I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great weekend, guys.